What's going on YouTube? Get sick customs here. I need to apologize to you for the uh, last video, the audio on it. What can I say? I dropped the ball. I forgot to turn the mic on. It is what it is. But today I'm working on another project. Um, the motorcycle frame, I don't know if I've shown that to you, but I'll show it to you right now is this frame right out here i'm going to be taking that piece of mahogany that my wife and i found and turning it into a two-tiered table it's got it's going to have two levels and uh i sent it off i think i said something about this the other day i don't remember but i sent it off to uh well, I didn't send it off. I actually took it to the woodwork shop that I get a lot of supplies from, a lot of wood, different things. And uh, they're supposed to be ripping it and making it into a book matched set. And then what I'll do is I'll take the live edge, turn them in towards each other, and pour a resin river. But I've got some other things going on with that as well. Uh, I've been dealing with a company called Stone Coat Countertops. And there we go. I got a card from them. Stone Coat Countertops. I will link the link to them below in the description. And the people there are extremely friendly and very helpful. Um, the young lady that I talked to the first time and uh, tried to explain what I was doing, we spent about an hour on the phone. And uh, so she sent me some stuff and then I had to go back and make some adjustments to what I was doing um, because this is what she sent me this is the part one and part two of the the resin that it covers the piece of work she also sent me some coloring some uh, blue and tropical turquoise metallic um, so in the next couple weeks, I'm going to be working on that. I'm going to be putting together a video. It's not going to be one of these that I just shoot it one day and boom, pop, it's done. So this is the second part that I got from Stone Coat Countertop. This is supposed to be more for the doing the uh, river section that I'm planning on doing. I'm sorry about shaking and everything. You're sitting on the ammo box on the motorcycle <laughs> so I'm gonna be opening this up but I believe that I'm going to have to order some more stuff from them because they actually have a resin that sets up in about 15 minutes and that's what I'm really looking for so that I can do some uh, sculpture with the piece so this is not just going to be your plain run-of-the-mill humdrum uh, river slash waterfall type uh, piece that you can find almost anywhere on YouTube, Instagram, uh, Facebook. This is going to be more sculptural. And so that's what I need. And the only way you could buy this is in large quantity. I only offered it in the, uh, what is it? One gallon, one and a half gallons, I believe. Uh, so, oh, put the knife away too soon. Believe it or not, I sharpened this thing. This is the blade that I sharpened. So, and this is how the coloring comes in powder form and in a small packet. Unfortunately, at $15 a pop, it's not really economical. And so I'm going to have to find another source for the type of coloring that I'm looking for. Uh, the woodwork shop actually has it in a small bottle for $13, which is a lot more than that. And But I need to call Stone Coat Countertop and find out if that is going to be, you know, if it just takes a small smidgen of it to create the color that I'm looking for. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, use the other one. That one's sharp, I know. Uh, there we go. And this is the casting epoxy that is going to be needed for the river section. Oh, it looks like it's broken. No, it's not broken. Just well taped up to keep it from coming apart. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So, that's what I've got going on. I've been meaning to try to get out here today to find time to do some of this stuff. And it's just been hot. It's been, I mean, it's not as hot as it was yesterday. Yesterday was flaming hot. My beard almost caught on fire. And I need to get rid of some of these boxes. They're just taking up too much space. Uh, this is the bill for it. Metallic colors, another business card. Shipping address, thank you for your support. And let's see, instructions for the casting epoxy. This is poured at a two to one ratio, whereas the countertop is poured at, is mixed at a one to one ratio. So get that going in the coming weeks. Uh, one and a half gallon kit, mix two to one, mix this material slowly with a paint stick and not a drill. The average mix time is eight to ten minutes as you pour. I might have to use the drill because I want to infuse some air into it to create the look that I'm looking for. But that's still three hour set time on this, which is longer than I want. I need the 15 minute so I can pour it in small sections, do the sculptural manipulation that I want to do with it and uh, yeah Whew, still hot out here today one thing that I wanted to ask uh, when you watch one of my videos and you give me a thumbs down I don't have a problem with the thumbs down it shows me that uh, it just wasn't your cup of tea and that you didn't like it but I don't know why you didn't like it so if you give me a thumbs down Leave me a reason down in the comments. If you give me a thumbs up, hey, that's pretty much self-explanatory. So, <laughs> uh, I just can't go back in the house. It's I'm going stir crazy trying to get my head together and work on things. So, again, I ask if you give me a thumbs down, sling and sweat all over the place. If you give me a thumbs down, leave me a reason down in the comments. Help me to improve the channel. And uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give me a thumbs down. Leave a leave in comments. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you don't mind. Ring the bell. And follow me on uh, Instagram at gistic underscore customs. Okay? And I will talk to you all later.